And it is Canada against Wales in the other men's challenge, 13th place semi-final. They will play the winner of this last game we just saw, Chile and Sa here come both teams. Luke Johan leading out Wales. And Canada brought out there by Phil Burner. Another interesting clash we have ahead of ourselves here, Carl Tanana. Yeah, but again, both of these teams mirror each other so well. This Canadian team on day one hit moments of brilliance. And so did Wells, to be fair. A couple of players to look out for. I think Josiah Mora and Judy Six for this Canadian outfit really has shone over the course of his first couple of days. Yep. Canada in their red. On the right and Wales in their non-traditional red they're white and green officiating this one there's a local man AJ Jacobs from South Africa will be our official in charge it is the challenge 13th place semi-final the winner faces Chile Wales to receive Williams goes up been batted back Trahan is there off the chest, play on. Off the there. chest, play on. Luke Johan. Off the chest, play He's on. Got all the skills. Well, scrappy wasn't it right from the restart? That was a good one. Johan just saying one of our players got pushed, but referee Jacobs saying not play on champ. Quick ball from Isherwood. Thomas Isherwood with that beautiful mop of hair known as the mullet man. Brock Webster looks for a loop around, gets one fan on Williams. Go on the outside to that danger man. Jojo Mora through to Mora. Great work from. The Canadian speedster. Isherwood looking for a loop. He gets it back. Brilliant stuff from the mullet man. All on the fin as well. Trahan bumped off. It's the flowing hair to go the distance. Thomas Isherwood for Canada. Well, the secret there was on the loop. It was so late that the defender had to make the tackle. Isherwood drops it off late, the loop right there, see the, the defender was already committed, he could have reset and then Trahan comes across, try and makes the tackle, but an outstanding fend to the top of the scone from Isherwood, he's been fantastic as well. Was well, that a profile pick right there in the slow-mo with it, locks flowing? Well, I'm going to make it my profile pick, that is brilliant to see this youngster, Thomas Isherwood, 22 years of age, has been lighting it up the last couple of years. Wow, what a joy to watch. And a nightmare for the hair salon as well. 7-0, Canada lead. Brock Webster, the winger in 15s for the Toronto Arrows, goes down to Morgan Williams. He's been their best attacker for Wales. Big fan from Chanowski. He gets going, the big tech, Morgan Chanowski. Trahan. Looking for a bit of distance here, Callum Carson. Up the middle he goes for the Welsh side coach by Richie Pugh. Williams yet again. It's good work here, Pierce Jones looking to crack it on. Not able to get free there, it was Mora all over him. Two big young units going at it. Really love that Pierce Jones here, fantastic. What am I using some? Pre-line footwork is so good, Pierce Jones. He's got a lot of speed too. He's trying to use his physicality, but it's great counter defense from the, the Canadians. Isherwood with a line out at the halfway line. His hair is so long, you can't even see his name on the back of his jersey. He goes to the right again. Webster, playmaker. Beautiful ball to Mora. Doesn't step this time, but gets rid of the first tackler. Webster again down the short side Brock Webster a wing in 15s and a flower in sevens and that's two for the Canadians well that's the future of the Canadian backline isn't it whether it be 15s or sevens I think Mara and Brock Webster working so well together only young men were growing in front of our eyes you can see their face to go to the open just gets to the defense off the heels just a little bit you know Pierce Jones and his people Brock with uh, Webster absolutely some smokes him on the outside well he spent a lot of time in the summers working on a chicken farm in Idaho and whatever work he did there has paid off 
looking to convert his own try. It's a nice strike. And he'll stand on the side, 12 0. Henry Paul there, HP. Lost a mountain of experience just recently, but just grooming these young kids and teaching them up. And he knows the size of the situation and the challenges he faces in this tournament. Played under Mike Friday for the England Sevens. He's been around for an age and brilliant to see him leading the North American side. Williams leaves it behind. Burner flicks it back. Brilliant stuff from Phil Burner. He has possession right now. There's a podcast with his teammate Jake Teal called The Snake and the Goose. Their nicknames. They lay it down there for Mora. Quick ball there. Lucky Kratz on the park. It's stabbed through from Phil Burner. Burner's chasing. Is he the snake or the goose in the podcast? I don't know. He's probably both. Well, Snooze is even saying, what the heck happened there? You know what? Planned it all the time. Great option, though. Take it to the line. Got a player on the outside. You have to defend that. As soon as he saw them go into the outside run, he put the little chip through. Brilliant work. Oh, stunning work. He sells it all. Apparently he runs a very successful pyramid scheme. So Jake, Jake Deal tells me. Oh, he's magic. Kick sells over as well. It's all Canada so far. Shahan unfortunately leaves the field. It's so integral for his side. Yeah, just going for HIR, I think Luke, Luke Trahan on the back of that. Bit of defense here. It's a shame for this Welsh team because they need his experience right now. They really do. He's the glue that holds them together. Pierce Jones comes up, but Canada again up the restarts. The mullet man flying in Isherwood. Oh, it's standing ball over the top. Alex Russell will slide in. This is Canada at their absolute finest. All off the back of some Thomas Isherwood magic. He's been amongst everything in this first half. But look at the seed he gives. Here's the competition in the air. He's the one backing up. But look at this pill. That is pinpoint over the top of the defender. And is pinpoint into the hands. Great competition. There's the athleticism shown by Mora against Pierce Jones. The tongue's out. Alex Russell gets Canada's fourth. Bangs it over, 26 nothing. Well, Russell, he's been the thick of it. McGill University product from West Sussex in England. And Isherwood's taking a leadership role on this side as Brock Webster goes to get a little break for his effort so far. The restart is where it's all been. Jojo Morrow goes up. Well, when it works, it certainly does. To Sean O'Brien, hit now. As Wales try to counter this, and they will get the penalty. Yeah, great counter ruck and now the ill discipline from Canada. I don't think he threw this ball away, he just put it down. I reckon this is rough to say the least. But man, sometimes you've got to take what comes here and this Welsh team will go oh, no. to the scrum. The one-on-one -on -one athleticism shown by Moore is absolutely brilliant, but man. Kraskin, I think, find himself unlucky to sit in that seat. You see it here. Five. Oh man. Sit. Well, it does give a real opportunity here for Wales as they go through Colt Swanick and a big step infield, Morgan Williams. First half clock is up here. They go on the outside, lovely ball to Tom Brown. He cuts back in. Chernowski with him. As they look to whip it wide. Swanick. A low ball on the outside. Pierce Jones. An aggressive D comes in the end there from Canada. I'll tell you what, it's been a bit niggly this game. It's been a bit of, bit of edge. Here we go. Here we go. Boys warming up. Saying hello to each other. In Cape Town. Welcome, team. Leave each other. Leave each other. Leave Woo! each other. Leave each other. Oh, it's all happening here at Cape Town Stadium. Thank you. And I'm not sure if they were Thanks. trying to give issue with a haircut. But he was central. He was central there with Janowski. Yeah, it's been a bit edgy, though, the whole game. Really, really has nothing wrong with it. Nine, nine. A tough old sport. Come here. No, he's rock Three. and roll. Here's Isherwood. Three. Come here. Captain. Sorry, time off. Stay here, please. You stay here. 
so that was the penalty for. And then nine and three starting it afterwards. So I'm going to stick with the original penalty, but I'm sending both these players off. Okay. So. Please look at my fucking face. Thank you. Penalty was against uh, you, uh, you for off your feet, and then you started this scuffle. So I'm going to send both of you off. No, stick with the original penalty. I remember, Kenneth have already got one player off, so they're going to be down to five. Ten, ten, ten. Well, down Let's see here. <laughs> Just a little rub in the face. Well, yeah, that's not needed. That's what started it. There's already a bit of edge. Then we have a bit of cuddles. Everyone's having a snuggle. Nothing thrown. Well, they need a break. We need a break as well. It's half time here in the Challenge 13 semi final, and Canada lead 26 0 against Wales. Wow, it's a game that had it all. Wales were looking good there to get something on the board there. I'll tell you what, this Canadian side where things go for them. Let's have a listen in here. And now, second breath in. And now. Second half needed there for Richie Pugh's side here. There have been some massive moments in this game, and then apologize for any language you heard there from these sides. And that's what we expect at the Rugby World Cup Sevens. A couple of green millies just getting together, enjoying the raga. You know what would make that perfect if they had a Quagga Burger? It's the 2022 Rugby World Cup Sevens in beautiful Cape Town, the mother city as it's known. 26-0 Canada lead Wales here. This is the Challenge 13th place semi-final. The winner, winner will face Chile. I'm down the Stamford alongside the great All Black Sevens World Cup winner, Carl Tanana, slipping everywhere. Just watch the ball. Well, I'll tell you what, there's two Canadian players sitting on the sideline and there's six Canadian players out there. Someone's got their numbers wrong here. Eh? Well said, my friend. So, time off, time off, time off. Six plus two equals eight, so someone in Canada needs... Who's, who's the manager down there for Canada? Gareth Reese? Listen, were they on seven already? Then it's a penalty against them. Yes, yeah, so there we go. Because they had the wrong numbers seven on there, Wales get the penalty straight up and down, so here we go. This was low numbers for you to add, KT. <laughs> You need to go off, you need to be six. Unfortunately, he's got wax in his ears like you, Dylan. Someone has to come off. Now they've got two guys, they've got four. Yes, They're going to keep one of you on. Whoa, one off, not off. two. Oh, this, this, five. this is going to be brilliant on the highlight reels. Just four players left. Thank you. Let's go. Where did you go to school, Dylan? Yeah, yeah. I think they went there too. <laughs> yeah. Oh, this is brilliant. Rugby World Cup 7s where everything and anything can happen. Wales, meanwhile, looking to exploit the advantage here. Tom Brown, Swanick is there. He gets close. Bone has him. Penalty goes the other way to the men in red. Oh, wow, that's great defence from Canada. Sending it a lot of numbers there. If Wales recycle this ball, they are in all day long. That is desperation. We've only got five players on the park. Time off. Looks like they can get Number one eight. player back after all this confusion. Looks like Kratz is back on. He was off just before the end of the first half. Number eight, White. No, not you, not you. He's all right, so Lucky Gratz comes back on and, and Kieran Breen as well. Number four. Can't four. wait to rewatch that Canada. man's <laughs> numbers four. early on. Yes. We see, we've seen a lot in Number the game ten, of rugby. We've ten. never seen that. Well, I'll tell you what, it keeps it interesting. Keeps you on your toes. That's Come sevens. Here we go, six on six. Free kick. That's the mark. Yeah, balk there from Canada. Here you go. Here's the mark. On the 15. 
All right, Wales in white. Haven't scored yet, but there it is. Oh, no, Chernowski. He's been hit by the rugby post. One of the I'm biggest hits we've I'm seen this weekend. Are you OK? Good. He's checked by nice the post and seen if he's OK by referee AJ Jacobs. He's OK, he's up, he's good. Oh, he runs back, he didn't even feel it. Bit to the post, felt it. 26-7, what a hit. Oh, look at this. This is absolute commitment from Chanowski. Takes the ball, gets absolutely smoked by the poles, which is still ringing. Wow. Thought we'd seen it all. Don't believe anything I say. And it bounces up here for Wales. They're laid back. Chanowski, the battering ram, has it. Tom Brown across from Carson. Swanick wants to go wide with a missed pass. He finds Kane, Teo Bosch, he's got a lot of speed. Cuts back in nicely. Still there for the Welsh Dragons. Across they work, Tom Brown. Open space, Chris Smith, one-handed offload. Brilliant work, oh, Janowski. That's a bit of Welsh sugar in the corner. Oh, he's still battling Gennady, run, look at him. He's gone back to back, that's a nice yeah. offload. As well from Owen Jenkins. Oh, and Janowski being the difference maker, Wells back in this one. Conversion from Colt Swanick falls short, but yeah, if you need a player on your side that's going to put their hand up and never say die, it's that man in picture. Brilliant Same work from Morgan Janowski. Four minutes to go, 26-12, Wales. Two quick tries after a bunch of yellow cards. Come back on. So who said these Challenge 13 place semi-finals aren't lively? We saw Chile go into extra time in the last game to win it. And here comes Isherwood now. Well, he slips, a little goose step there from the Canadian. Now a bit of space for Breen to operate. Fresh legs, much needed in this grueling sport. Back against the grain, Deshaun Bowen. Pacific Pride man Reece. from Toronto. You Slow ball here with him well on the clock. Big jump there from Matawaru. Takes on a couple of players. Waiting, Alex Russell. Just slowing things down here for this Canadian side. Another solid hit there on Urgas. <laughs> Penalty goes the other way. Here come Wales. A quick tap. A couple of dummies thrown. Callum Carson. Callum Carson looking for that third. He's in. Oh, my goodness gracious me. Wow. That momentum obviously shifted back to Wales through that confusion. He's thinking, I'm confused. What's going on here? Great work at the breakdown by the man who scores the try, Callum Carson, straight over the pill. Great technique, very strong. Watch him here. There's one dummy, there's a second dummy, there's a bit of power to go through and finish it. That was a clutch try, and all of a sudden, it is 26 points to 19, with two and a half to go. And that's a clutch conversion, because it's successful, it makes it a one-score game. They have battled their way back into this one. Obviously stung earlier on that first half, but now they've flicked the switch, this Stop. Welsh team. So, slight injury here to the big frame. Matt Awaru seems to be okay now. Come back on. He's good to go. Wales with Williams goes to the far side. Not 10. Yeah, we have to get the ball in the hands of Brock Webster. That's where they're most dangerous. More as well. He's the guy to look out for. They're going to go scrum time. Mishawood. Going to pack in an area as they're setting up to play the man Brock Webster. Mentioned player for the future, the 22 year old. 15th day before Five. Canada. In the Rugby World Cup qualifying Six. against the United States. The winger, he waits for Isherwood. 
Big scrum here, but illegal from Wales. Yeah, right in front of the referee, just trying to march around. That's just ill discipline there from Wales. And now what that does relieves the pressure. Go to the lineup, Brock Webster. Eke out time on the clock. Get right down deep into Wales territory. You know who's back on? Big Chanowski for the Welsh team. He needs something. He's got to be the man. Time off. Chanowski. Time back on. He's going to be invited to a lot of after match functions. You need a hard man Time like off. that around. Let's get space in front. Just wait. No problem. So this is middle. Let's I don't open. think he's in his lifting that whistle. Move over. Move over. Yes, you would. For Canada. They beat Zimbabwe on day one. Looking for their second win here in the World Cup. Mullerman gets away to Webster, who fakes on the inside. Brock Webster! Oh, that is a try of note here at the Cape Town Sevens. The young guns are here to stay. Oh, stepping up when it's needed. Brock Webster hitting the ball at speed. Look at this. He's that first receiver. Ushua delivers a nice pass. Whack! Defence can't handle that. Individual brilliance by the number seven. Sit down and have a seat, please, sir. Looking up in the dictionary, Mr. Webster is over. And Canada do what they need to finish off this game. It was some tense moments. This game seemed like it was 40 minutes long. That's how much action we had. I've loved it. It's had a bit of everything, hasn't it? A bit of start, it's an awesome place of individual brilliance. Oh, edge of your seat stuff here in the southern tip of Africa for the Rugby World Cup Sevens. They want a restart as well. Jojo Morrow, an excellent take for the North American side. Lockie Kratz, Awaru, still going. Final play here with Isherwood. Oh, Isherwood, that was a huge hit. And that is the full-time whistle. Canada win it. 33 points to 19. They do the damage in the second half and win this one.